The verdict is in for former President Donald Trump. Guilty. And of course, he had some things to say about it outside the Manhattan courtroom, where he had been sitting for days on end. On the afternoon of May 30th, 2024, Trump was found guilty on all 34 felony counts of falsifying business records relating to hush money payments made to former adult film star Stormy Daniels. With the guilty verdict, Trump is now the first former U.S. president to be convicted in a criminal case. Onlookers may have expected the fiery former president to fly off into a rage, but he reportedly sat still and kept to himself after the verdict was read. He was also oddly subdued as he walked out of the courtroom and addressed reporters. But his words were quite bitter and pretty well in line with what he's been saying throughout the trial. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. Trump kept repeating the phrase rigged trial to describe the proceedings in the courtroom of Justice Juan Mershon, which have been going on since April 15th. He also continued to claim his innocence, saying he didn't do a thing wrong and that he's a very innocent man. He made another pitch to voters, too, saying, The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people, and they know what happened here and everybody knows what happened here. Trump, likewise, as he has all along, made claims that this trial and the verdict were the result of President Joe Biden's administration's desire to influence the upcoming 2024 presidential election. There's no evidence of the Biden administration's involvement in the case, which was brought by a local official, New York County District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Given that Trump has already clinched the Republican nomination for president, the trial's result leaves many questions up in the air about what will happen next. It's a bit of a waiting game as to how everything will unfold. Trump is scheduled to debate Biden at the end of June. However, whether that will still happen remains unclear. Prior to the verdict, Nikki Swift's legal expert believed the debate would continue no matter what, and that's likely given that the next step in the legal process doesn't come until July. Specifically, Trump is set to be sentenced on July 11th, 2024, just four days before the Republican National Convention begins. The convention is where Trump is expected to officially be named the Republican presidential nominee. Each of the 34 counts of which Trump has been convicted carries a maximum sentence of up to four years in prison. CBS News explains that the time would likely be served concurrently, so Trump would probably be facing at most four years. Legal experts say there's also a chance he'll get no jail time at all and be sentenced to probation or a conditional discharge. Based on what Trump said to reporters outside the courtroom, it still seems he has every intention of staying in the race against Biden in the November election. He even posted to Truth Social shortly after the verdict, declaring, victory on November 5th, save America. What was already a chaotic election season has gotten even more so.